Now John Middleton is starring in a new play called Strangers on a Train. We're speaking to him in a moment, but first let's take a look at his award-winning Emmerdale performance. I'm afraid your results are consistent with early-onset vascular dementia. You never think you'll be the one to go first. Yeah, but may maybe it won't be as bad as they say. You think I don't know how this ends? Who's Laurel? I found two. I bring two. Important person, yeah. Well, that was John, amazing. It was what so powerful. So well Ian Lee's really here well as done. well as John. Good to see you. I yeah, mean, good to be here. It, it absolutely swept so many people along. I know you were affected by it. Yeah, yeah, your mum... Um, yeah, my mum uh, had dementia and died uh, about a year ago, had a stroke mm. afterwards. But, yeah. but dementia, the way you did it and the way it showed, I think, was so powerful and so important. Well, we had an amazing amount of help from, uh, you know, people like the Alzheimer's Society, mm. Dementia Forward and people like that. And uh, the Pathways uh, Breaks group in Bradford were particularly helpful. And also, it's incredibly well written, so it was a joy to play. But we knew we had to get it right, right from the outset, because it would be vastly insulting to people like yourself who have an experience with dementia. Yeah. Do you feel the responsibility when, when you're, mm. you're playing something as, as important oh, as that? Yes, absolutely yeah. you do. Absolutely you do. It would be uh, you know, a massive disservice uh, to people with the condition or people looking after people with mm. the condition if you don't. And I think also uh, a lot of people tend to forget just what a good job soap can do in many instances by putting across messages like that, across all the soaps but that was a very powerful story and there's been others as well I think yeah. it's a really useful tool actually well absolutely i mean the Alzheimer's society were absolutely delighted with us yeah. that they were doing it and also we were delighted that they were helping us we they had script approval we were sending scripts to them and saying have we got this right wow. um but when you've got a reach of six million people six times a week yeah of course they were happy yeah. your on-screen wife charlotte bellamy i went to college with her yes we studied a performing arts together <laughs> Imagine <laughs> such a but isn't she now having, it sounds like the other show, but isn't she now having an affair with your ex-best friend now, your brown bread? Who knows? I'm on stage when this is taking place. <laughs> <laughs> which, is why, who cares? which is why you're Although here. Although you're briefly back, aren't you, tonight on Emmerdale? Yes, apparently I am. Beyond doing, the grave. Yes, I'm my little video homilies to... Uh, uh, to uh, and do you want to tell the great people of Good Morning Britain uh, what you actually said when you were told that? Your answer was, I love the repeat fee. <laughs> 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 I've got two, actually. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Big, big, big decision to leave after such a long time. Well, yeah, it was a joint decision. I have to, it wasn't just my decision. I mean, the, the Kate Oates, who was my producer at the time, yeah. was my producer at Coronation Street, pitched the idea to me. And she said, you probably want to go away and think about this, because if you do it, you will have to leave in about two years' time. Yeah. I said, I don't have to think about this at all. This is the best story anyone's ever pitched to me. Of course I want to do it. 